All right, so aphasias. This is basically problems with speech, be it understanding or um, speaking. And uh, I'm going to go through a couple of key concepts first. First is that Broca's area, which is here, and its surrounding areas are responsible for speech production. So not only Broca's, but the area around it. Second, Wernicke's area, right here, and its surrounding areas are responsible for understanding. And then finally, there's this thing called the arcuate fasciculus that connects Broca's and Wernicke's. And both Broca's, Wernicke's, and the arcuate fasciculus are all responsible for repetition. That is, I say apple, you have to use all these three areas to be able to repeat after me, apple. So now we're going to talk about what happens when each of these areas is damaged. So first is Broca's. When Broca's is damaged, you get a broken Broca. That means that you have problems with speech production. So speech is impaired. What, happen, what about comprehension? Um, it's fine because Wernicke's is fine. And the repetition, we just talked about that repetition is impaired. So these patients, they understand what's going on. They have intact comprehension, but they just can't get that word out. Have you ever had, you, I'm sure you've experienced that. You're just trying to find that one word, but you can't get it. Broca's aphasia is that, but 10 times worse because they can not they can barely say anything. They say like one or two words. They understand everything. They're super frustrated. All right, Wernicke's is next. We can uh, you can get everything here. It's easy. Speech. Wernicke's is normal. Broca's is fine. Uh, comprehension. Comprehension is impaired. They don't understand what's going on because Wernicke's is damaged. Without repetition, also impaired. All right, easy peasy. So these patients, they can speak. They can speak whatever they want, but they not, it doesn't make sense. So this is the person who just speaks too much. It's the guy that talks way too much and speaks nothing of substance. And this is even like 10 times worse because what they're saying is word salad. They're saying apple, potato, play, pen, table, sad. That's all they're saying. It doesn't mean anything. All right, next is conduction aphasia. This one, just remember, conduction aphasia is where the arcuate fasciculus only is damaged. Arcuate fasciculus conducts things between the Broca's and Wernicke's, and that's conduction aphasia when it's damaged. Um, speech and comprehension, where well, they're normal because Wernicke's and Broca's are fine, but repetition is impaired. Finally, global, this just makes sense. Come on, global is everything is hit. So um, Broca's, Wernicke's, Arcuate. So uh, obviously you're going to get defects in all of those. You're going to get speech, comprehension, repetition, impairment. Next, we're going to look at um, basically what happens when the areas around Broca's or the areas around Wernicke's gets hit. So transcortical is when the area around Broca's is damaged, but Broca itself is spared. So what happens? What about speech? Remember, we said that the area around Broca's also is responsible for speech. So it's a similar thing as Broca's. Comprehension is fine. Uh, repetition, though, is fine. That's the, op that's the only difference from Broca's aphasia versus transcortical motor is that repetition is intact in this case because Broca's, Wernicke's, and Arcuate are all fine. Trans transcortical sensory is similar. It's just basically the same thing as Wernicke's except for the fact that repetition is fine, but then your comprehension is impaired. you got word salad still. Finally, transcortical mixed, the same thing as global. It's very similar. Only difference is air, Broca's, Wernicke's, Arquits, all fine. So your repetition is great. So great repetition here, um, impaired repetition on the rest. Other thing to note is to, the way I keep transcortical motor and transcortical sensory apart is I just think that when you speak, you need all these muscles. You need muscles to move your, to move your mouth. It's like a motor mouth, okay? Um, so when you get damage in the, the motor area, you can't speak. So that's why um, transcortical motor is the one that's similar to Broca's. It has the broken Broca for both of them. Alright, that's it for aphasias.